Do I know if the answer is moving away from paper and pencil? Is the LSAT changing to a digital format? The answer is yes. They are moving. They have been studying this, you know, quote unquote, studying very slowly for years. And it turns out that they are actually speeding up on that process. They've been testing out you taking, you're giving the LSAT on a tablet, specifically a, a Samsung. And they've piloted that. There are, they're right now, at the moment, they're doing pilots where they're giving a handful of students the opportunity to actually take the LSAT in a, on tablet. And that will probably go into full effect as, a, as an option alongside paper and pencil next year. I read a report about that. So in 2019, they'll be giving people both options. And then moving forward, they'll probably, they might make it the default for all I know. They might, you know, let's say in 2020, 2021, they might actually shift so that everyone is taking it on tablet and no one is doing it paper and pencil. So far, reports of the tablet experience are not that positive, unfortunately. There is something extremely important, it turns out, about doing things by hand on paper, being able to cross things out physically, especially think about for games or for other sections, maybe you want to underline or circle something and you want maybe you want to cross off A, B, C, D, E and the tablet certainly limits your ability to do that. And of course, all the materials now are in paper and pencil format unless you're using a PDF or something like that. But there is something extremely important about the physical experience. And that's why, especially for while it's still in the current paper and pencil format, you want to be practicing that way. So if you're doing practice problems on screen, it's not a good experience when your actual LSAT is going to be different than that. You want to be able to cross off all five choices. You want to be able to underline or circle certain things. You want to be able to draw diagrams. And maybe you want to draw diagrams, not just for games, but also for certain formulaic logical reasoning questions. And so if you can't do that, that's not good. So orient all your practice with paper and pencil. If you're using digital LSATs, print them out. When things change such that the tablet option is the only option, then of course that will change the nature of studying a great deal. Then I'm sure that various LSAT prep providers and po probably even LSAT themselves will offer a digital LSAT experience for practice where you know, right now the they give you a free sample LSAT as a PDF. In the future, they may take that same exam or hopefully a newer one and put that in digital form where you can walk through it on desktop and on tablet. You know, personally, I think the desktop is probably a more comfortable experience because that's what I spend more of my time using. But if they make it tablet only, then we're all gonna have to get tablets and use those which may have a, a quality of opportunity issue because not everyone owns a tablet. And so that's something, not everyone owns a dis desktop either for that matter, but they're certainly more common I would, I would expect. So we will see what happens. Um, I'm hoping that they offer both or that they still offer paper and pencil for as long as possible. It's better from that, their perspective probably to offer it on a digital format if that would allow them to offer the LSAT more frequently. Like the GMAT is offered virtu virtually every weekday. I think that the LSAT will certainly move towards being more frequent and eventually long run, they may also do the format where they don't release numbered exams forever. And we're gonna get into the hundreds at this point, at this rate, and rather they'll just have a set of like 5,000 or 20,000 questions that they draw upon randomly. I'm hoping that they don't uh, do a to things totally in, in an adaptive format because that would be tougher to replicate when you're practicing, but we'll see what happens. I'm excited that things are changing and they're becoming more student friendly at the very least though.